Man, last night was quite a night for me on Way of the Hunter. I was running around on my map on Tickamoon Plains and I managed to find three five-star greater kudu with all of them popping up really, really closely to each other. I think it was all within a matter of two hours, which is honestly pretty crazy. All of these I tried to get up close and get some good footage, so that's what you guys are going to be seeing now. We got a lot of really nice close-up views on these animals before taking them down, and I am just blown away at how majestic and beautiful the kudu look in Way of the Hunter. They really did them justice, just how majestic and insane they look. It, it, it is honestly quite incredible. After admiring this beautiful kudu for a little bit, I decided to get lined up and take my shot. He was sitting down, so I wasn't sure if this was going to hit exactly where I wanted it to, but after taking the shot, it did seem to penetrate pretty well and get right into the vitals. This is the first giant kudu I was able to see in Way of the Hunter, so when I spotted this thing, it really took me by surprise. I had been following this thing ever since it was a three-star adult, and... It just blew my mind how much of a difference there is between the three star adults and the five stars. It's just, it's honestly impressive. It is incredibly impressive what these things look like. And I'm glad that we were able to finish a uh, amount of three kudu in literally one night. Unfortunately for the second one, I didn't see it until I had already spooked it off. If I'm being honest, I didn't even know that I had a single kudu that was good enough to become a five star. I assume I had just passed up this guy every single time I had gone around his zone because I never remembered seeing a solo kudu that had any potential of being a five star. But here we are with another five star kudu just out of nowhere and at the most unexpected time. So we lined up on him put a shot right into his chest for a beautiful heart shot and down he goes. It never gets old seeing these giant kudu going down. I really am and still, like I said earlier, I'm incredibly impressed with how the kudu look and I could see myself trying to get a lot more of them as like a filler for the lodge because there's a lot of mounts to fill on Tickamoon Plains. They did a pretty good job on the lodge and gave us lots of places to put everything. This right here is going to be the final five-star kudu that we took down. I decided to spice it up a little bit and go with something a little bit risky. But first, for this, I had to get a little bit closer. Though, I do think I probably should have got even closer than what I did. Because, unfortunately, this shot was not nearly as good as what I would have wanted it to be. I thought that I had seen the little dot from the hunter sense, but I guess I saw it wrong because it ended up hitting exactly where the red dot of the uh or where the reticle of the red dot was pointing which is not what i was expecting i was expecting it to follow the dot but it is what it is maybe i was looking at the wrong dot that's also possible but either way we messed up the first shot thankfully made a good shot on the second one and got him down and once again another five star i think all of these are the exact same horns as well so there still is room to get some even better kudu at some point. I believe the highest scoring one was like 482, so definitely nowhere near being a max scoring one. This guy right here being 475, I think this was the mid-size one that we killed. Either way, it's nice to get all these beautiful 5-star kudu down. I've got to be careful as to not spoil some of the other trophies that I've managed to get the last couple of days, because those are going to be in a separate video, but this is what we have managed to do with our uh, kudu mount, I think that this right here is just absolutely insane. I am a massive fan of uh, this particular mount. I do think this is one of the coolest mounts you could possibly make in this game. The three kudu, the side by side by side, all five stars, just absolutely beautiful, man. This is so, so good. I cannot wait to get some more of these and fill up some of the wall mounts as well, because I do think they would look really good as uh, wall mounted trophies too. So. We will have to see how things go in the future, and if we can get some more five-star kudu, we will definitely uh, toss them up on the wall. But till then, this is uh, this is looking pretty good. I'm a huge fan of it. 
But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below letting me know that you did. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content. And also, if you haven't already, hit the like on the way out. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.